Shela, Joseph, Wa'amnashi, Kishdene, Tacoma people of the Upper Rogue Valley. Uh, my name is Joe Scott. I'm a member of the Confederated Tribes of Celeste Indians. Uh, my ancestors are the Tacoma people of the Rogue Valley in Oregon, what is now Oregon. I am a teaching and learning coordinator for the Traditional Ecological Inquiry Program. One of the things that we do as uh, an internship is offer tribal people an opportunity to practice uh, cultural traditions related to fire. So we provide the space and the resources and support for uh, practitioners, people interested in, in foodways, first foods, and tending the landscape with fire. Uh, an opportunity to begin a lifelong relationship with a place and pass that relationship on to the next generation. So my name is Chris Adlam and I work for Oregon State University's Extension Fire Program and uh, you know for me fire um, it's really part of how we relate to this whole landscape and I, I became very interested in it particularly learning about the use of fire by native people uh, for thousands of years in this part of the world and how that really shaped the ecosystems that we have come to know. People use fire to keep their fruit trees and um, acorn you know, oak trees healthy uh, as well as to uh, burn uh, plants that produce basketry materials. Uh, without fire, these basketry materials simply go away. We can't find them in the right condition on the landscape just by walking around. They have to be tended with fire in a, a very intentional way. So this is a um, native hazel plant. The idea is not to incinerate it, but to treat the, the plant with heat. Might thicken the bark, might kill insects, might cause um, ash to form on the ground. Any one of those things will affect the way the plant produces switches for weaving baskets uh, of different sizes. It will also affect the production of food. These are a food resource as well. So as you can see, the way the fire is burning here, the behavior of the fire is very slow and low. So this application of heat, this cultural burning, is a specific type, in a specific place, at a specific time, based on a deep understanding of fire ecology, traditional fire ecology. All living things are fire dependent and that's the beginning of any tending process, is the reintroduction of healthy fire. Right now, on that land, prescribed fire, good fire, cultural fire, has been reintroduced as a feature of that landscape. And the land revealed itself in an amazing way. It cleared all of this uh, undergrowth and all of this built up um, debris and revealed this this landscape, this uh, cathedral of heritage um, valley pine. It was amazing, all of these oak trees. And to be an intern in the Traditional Ecological Inquiry Program means you're a part of that process. The longer you're there, the more you tend, the more that landscape becomes you and you become it. I remember the first time I heard cultural fire and it uh, was in the context of indigenous people uh, revitalizing, uh, uplifting, celebrating uh, traditional ways of using fire on the landscape, to tend the landscape. That was cultural fire. And then I found myself uh, in the dance house and we all dance around a great big cedar fire. It's a special fire. It's a medicine fire. And that's cultural fire too and we use fire to burn medicine, we use fire to cook our food. All of those things are cultural fire. So 
when you're talking about cultural fire in the term or in the context of traditional ecological knowledge, what you're talking about is uh, indigenous fire science that has existed since time immemorial. Our ancestors have worked with fire on the landscape and throughout every aspect of their being since people first started making fire. 